Hello everybody, just wanted to throw out a quick video on how to uh, build a better finger splint, a splint that's more effective and more comfortable for, for use. I do want to point out the necessary supplies, and these supplies are accessible at your local pharmacy or through an online first aid uh, store, okay? So let's start. To begin um, would be what's called a Coban, or the off-brand name is Coflex. All it is is an um, an elastic self-adhering bandage sticks to itself very durable comes in different sizes the next would be tongue depressor um, I like these better than popsicle sticks they're much more effective and much more durable then would be a aluma foam splint hence the name this splint is made of aluminum and that quality allows it to be malleable and flexible. Um, you can bend it. Uh, this is especially important for injuries that require a splinted position uh, that's in an extension or flexion position. It also comes with this foam backing that adhered to it. Um, and it's great for the comfort and it minimizes the contact between the skin and the aluminum. Uh, you have some that are prefabbed with this... Um, angle bent into it and this is great for distal or injuries that are furthest away from the the, the, the body um, you know uh, finger uh, lacerations that are sutured or any wound it just helps with bumping it and minim minimizing the pain so this is great and then always 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 you should have available in your house um, some great shears uh, these are my favorite um, you can also find them um, uh, described as EMT shears, paramedic, medic shears. Very important to have in the household. So to begin, I'll just start with this one. Um, you know, whenever you injure your finger and you're looking for a splint, something to splint with until you get, you know, uh, more appropriate care, what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's comfortable and it doesn't cause any more injury, damage, and possible infection. So this, for example, let's say I've already cut this and I just need to adjust the size. So if, if you look, you see this jagged edge. This is a piece I've already cut, but you see this jagged edge. And more than likely, if I don't take care of it or if I don't try and 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 clean it up it'll probably dig into my skin uh cut my skin um, just cause a further injury so let's say i just need to adjust it further down to here so basically all i'm going to do is take my, my 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 scissors here cut down to where i need to be and then and then what you can do is cut around the edges make the edges a little rounded so you see the edges are a little rounded they're not as they're not as uh, pointy and then what you do from there is grab your coflex or your coban cut a couple of pieces shorter pieces And the first thing that I do is put it um, right over like this, right over the end. Grab another, uh, a second piece. And full here got it stuck to itself. And put it over again. And in essence, I'm just creating a, a bit of a padding around around that um, that sharp edge and then just cut me off so sticky sorry a longer piece and then from there I'll wrap it around the other way basically just securing this over the end that's been cut so you see there's no jagged not open end and so there you go so you're protected from causing any more injury to yourself so when i apply it i've adjusted it i've covered it 
and that's a lot safer finger splint. All right, everyone, now let's move on to the tongue depressor, okay? Uh, again, I like these better than popsicle sticks because they're a lot wider, you know, and they're longer in length, so you have more to play with. So just, you know, wipe the aluminum slit, take it out of its package, measure it to where you need it to be. So in my case, it'd be like about right there. Again, cut it where you need it. And there's that sharp edge again. You see, there's that sharp edge that we don't want cutting into the skin. So same thing here. You just cut the edges, round the edges off. And then, uh, you know, we'll just get you a, a couple of strands of the Coflex shorter strands just make it a little easier we'll just kind of slap them together right now and then just get a, a longer strip all right and there we go so now you'll just cover the end like we did with the aluminum splint and there we go just wrap it around the end you know you don't have to use as much as I did to wrap the end I just I kind of like to overdo it because I like the padding and so there you go now you've got your finger splint and you've got the Coban or Coflex at the end you know you've got it um, padded so when you apply it and it's up against the skin it's not going to cut you it's not going to abrase you uh, causing further uh, damage okay all right, well, there you go, guys. Uh, if you found this video useful, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for further uh, tutorials. And uh, please uh, share this video with anybody that you might think uh, would find this useful. And uh, stay tuned for part two of my um, mini series of uh, finger splinting, where I will show how to appropriately splint a finger. And uh, look for you then. Thank you.